All right. I go first. I've got a thing that fixes mana. I have a playable on two, something that smooths my draw, and something that fixes mana. We're short black mana, but I'm going to keep this. It's a little bit rough. We can get screwed here. Let's hope not. I think you have to have a certain power level of cards, though, or you just have what happens to my opponent. My opponent probably has a very consistent deck there, but his deck doesn't do anything while it's being consistent. And that seems pretty unfortunate. It consistent. It's consistently bad. Is that what you want in your deck? I don't want a consistently bad deck. I'm not super excited about trading a guild mage for a 2-2. So I got some decisions this turn. I can throw up blockers for that. Um, I can smooth my mana source, and then next turn I can do something like lock it plus adept. That's reasonable. Didn't really want to play this yet. Kind of wanted to get just the mana source open. Getting this on 5 would be great. But I think I am going to choose, now that I have uh, I drew the 2 drop, to uh, look for mana for next turn. Still a good draw. That's what I want next turn, though. Okay. It'll be a slow turn next turn. A slow turn for my opponent, seems fine. Alright, so we'll cast Locket. Cast Plaza. Be done. So we don't, oh, we do have two black now. So we've unlocked our hand, that's good. Removal's on the board. Get some surveilling going. I need one more land. I kind of would like to draw the land before surveilling, so I don't have to waste surveil not putting land on top, but we'll see. That's probably good enough to remove. Alright. I think that is an optimistic attack on my opponent. I could just throw down a 3 3 too. red, white, blue. Sure strike in this format, as well as any sort of removal. I don't really want to take more damage here. Okay, eh, it's my only removal piece, though, and I've got another air blocker. Fine. Alright, let's get in with the 2-2. Two -two. No. The moment any, any draw is a good draw for us, so let's play the Welp. I realize the 1-4 doesn't do a lot there, but if he chooses not to attack with the rock... I'm happier to block that way, probably. Like, if he just attacks with the guard. Oh, he's got the plus one, plus one thing again. Totally missed that. So he can jump start again. Eh, maybe I should have removed it. He does affect other creatures, too. Okay. Should I just call it a Pegasus so we all know what the hell we're talking about? Feels like I might... Not an instant, right? Sorcery? Sorcery. Guess you can attack with the 3 4 now, sure. It's the only creature you can attack with. Seems like a lot of mana and a lot of cards spent. For just doing three damage. Really? You are a brave soul. Oh, he's got fucking mentor. No, I understand. But why attack with that one then? Do some surveilling. I think we should. I forgot that card of Mentor. I don't know if I would have changed my mind at all. I didn't think I knew. Oh my god. I want all these cards. These cards are so good for me. They're so high power. I need a land. But I'm not giving up Deadly Visit. I just take. 
Is it possible I'm going to get rid of Murmuring Mystic? No. That's fine, I'll keep that. Could attack with a 3-3, but it just exposes me to damage. I'm not worried about that right now. He got rid of his jump start, so presumably we got some time. Ancient Slumber. Need that though. Sure. I'm totally okay with that as well. Start generating us some bird tokens. We're finally into the the unknown on our on our deck now. I would trade a card from his hand, his jump start, and uh, no, ooh, color the culprit there. It's unfortunate. All right, it's another good one. Do we have enough mana to cast it? Uh, we can generate blue, 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 black, black. We do. All right, let's get him down. I think I can attack with this now, right? No. It's a good one for him. Not even a bad draw. This is why I splash black chat for all the fucking super strong removal cards. I don't need either of these. I have six mana now. So we can throw both of these into the graveyard. And get in with this dude. Get another big flyer down in a moment. I guess I do give him the option here now of trading the uh, thing. Dragonauts, all right. Shrinks a creature. Okay. And it goes to a three when he shocks. Options again. Can inescapable blaze the two three seems reasonable. I could just throw down a five four. He's happy to block and get nuked. Five is still good enough to trade. I don't like his ability to block right now though. All right. Let's blaze the one three. Cause that becomes a three three with his spell. We'll attack with the whelp. The whelp nukes his one one. Then if he attacks me, I can block, and he can't uh, can't lightning shock it or whatever the fuck it's called. So he can't kill my creatures this way. Sure. I don't give a shit about that. Uh, let's go ahead and swing with the same creature for the same reason. I actually swing with both. I'm going to play the Sphinx this turn. No, we're not. 
And it still gives him the chance to trade. I have no desire to do that. Pretty commanding position right now, in my opinion. Drop the Sphinx. Next turn, I can make two creatures unblockable and kill him. He doesn't know about one creature unblockable and kill him. If I draw another land, I can make two creatures unblockable, so I will play that land. So he's dead on board to everything right now. If he blocks the 5-4, he takes 6 and dies. Could have instant speed removal. Let's say it only kills a 3-3. So he kills a 3-3. I make this guy unblockable. He still takes only blocks the 3-3. Only takes 5, he lives. I'm just going to attack with everything. He's got removal. He has removal. Gonna do it. Cool. Turns out removing all of his creatures is a pretty good threat. Okay. Alright, uh, can't activate this till 3, but I think this is good enough. We're gonna be a little bit slow of an opening, but we're gonna keep it. Oh, it's not ramp, it's just mana fixing. It's fine. I'm going to be doing the same thing on my turn. Okay. I've got the dream. I've got Mystic plus Guild Mage in hand. He might have a pump spell here. I don't even care if he does. It's fine. I mean, I care, but I don't care that much. You get the sense. Didn't play another creature first, so I assume he's representing a pump spell, but that's what this creature's in this deck for. So he gave me some life and blocks some creatures that are threatening me. Nice. Ramping now. A little bit scary. Is it two hand or to play? To hand. Okay. I'd like to draw another blue mana source. Jesus Christ. Sorry, right, that's a big dude. My blue mana source I was asking about. Take some damage here, I guess. Mana's awkward to quasi duplicate here. Well, I'm still gonna do it, I think.
Gonna try not to die to whatever he ramped into. Hopefully this is the only big creature that's coming out for a minute. Played nothing. It's interesting. Is there untapped tricks in this set that I'm not aware of? He's got colorless mana. They're flash creatures. You can generate shit as an instant, maybe. I just want to survive this creature before I get fancy here. Hey, see, your replica is pretty interesting. Take five more here. I will be blocking with birds at some point, but not quite yet. Nothing for three turns is really fucking weird. I want to play this as the other one, which is 6, 7, 7 mana, it takes 8 to cost the 2, it's this plus that, alright, so it's this guy, oh, the other one is 5, 7, right, we have 6 mana in play, 3, 6, can't, can't play this to get the one I want, is it any creature in play? I think it's any creature, alright, let's do that, it's too valuable to have this as a... creature into my graveyard. And that into my graveyard. It's not that. That. And turn that creature to the battlefield. How do I pay three life for this thing? I want to activate this thing. Yes. Okay. Alright. What type of pump spells can this guy have, chat? He can have plus three, plus three. He could have two of them. He hasn't played no creatures. I'm tempted to just fucking block it with everything. He can have plus nine, plus nine. Can't deal with plus nine, plus nine, but I'm gonna block it with everything. Except the mystics. Ooh. Alright. He's got a board clear. It's pretty painful. Presumably this is gonna be a pump spell. I take a shit ton of damage, and then I'm gonna destroy it. Be okay. That card just wrecked the fuck out of me. Okay. Oh, it's a minus one, minus one, two. Rough. Sure. Okay, good value for my opponent. Had good answers there. Two turns of passing. Where's my surveil? Oh, die exile, I don't get my surveil. So, this is five to do. It's gonna have to do. that card. Don't really need that card. I need removal. And then we're going to get in for three over here. Okay. Coil generates so many things for us. So I have seven mana.
these two, I guess. Not worry about Lava Coil. Lava Coil is 3 damage on the board, but a 2-1 does not threaten me at all, and this threatens to kill his 2-1 next turn. So I think I would prefer to develop that. Uh, this doesn't do it. What am I talking about? Quitters never win. 5 and 3 is 8. You heard it here first, Are chat. you looking forward to the new Battle Brother DLC? Yeah. Yeah, 6 months. Sure am. Ah, I could lock it. Guild Mage and Lava Coil. That seems decent. Is that enough mana? 3... Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Could have a pump spell. It'd be fine. No, guys, this, this card has taken over the game twice now. It's what a rare mythic, Sui. This card or this card? The w Murmuring Mystic? We won two games with Quasi Duplicate plus Murmuring Mystic. Such a sick combo. Yeah. Quasi Duplicate? Yeah, it's good. It's rare. It's too bad I can't get that other card into our deck. It would be super fun to be playing uh, this card as well. Mission Briefing. But I just don't know where it's going to fit in this deck. Deck's been doing well so far. Okay, so we just broke even. It's good. We almost lost to that worm because I didn't want to block it. There's just too many tricks that could blow us out. He had a trick. We didn't have a very good one. I could have mass blocked it earlier, I guess. I was going to block it with all the birds that round. But, oh well. The X mana golem for different colors? Yeah, absolutely good, Sui. The, uh, you're talking the, the colorless artifact that... Uh, yep, I've had a lot of fun with that too. So yes, I'm excited about the Battle Brothers DLC coming out. Um, don't know when I'll get to it or if I'll get to it, but I love the Battle Brothers. If I have enough channel interest, I'd like to check it out. Uh, seems totally playable to me. Got our big dude. Got a, uh, we might not be able to play that early. This may not be totally playable. Nah, I'm keeping it still. We've got mana and acceleration. Or rather, fixing and acceleration. Opponent just mauled twice. Seems pretty strong. All right, let's get our guild gate down. It's a little bit of a slow hand, I guess. Opponent mull two, that's good for us. He's still been unable to cast this creature. He's been in three of my sealed decks so far, and I've never been able to play him, not once. So, pretty unexcited by that card at the moment. Still, so we just hit five mana for next turn, so we can get the kite into play. The hell kite whelp. Not addicted, uh, Snake Doctor, for sure. No! Oh, you give it. You just surveilled it too. Sure. Okay. It's kind of like... Yeah, that's fine. What'd you put in there? Creatures into your graveyard? Underrealm Lich, very strong. And Disinformation Campaign, extremely strong. This card is nuts. I don't know why he discarded that card ever. Draws him cards and you can play it. Like, why the fuck would you discard that? You just need land so badly you're willing to not play that card? This card is, like, really good in my opinion. Okay. Your stream just ripped. Uh, I show is still being here. Low FPS, but that's because of disaster. Yeah, you keep casting it, but every time you cast it, it gives you, you draw a card, and your opponent has to discard a card. Every time you surveil, it goes back to your hand, and you cast it again. It's fucking amazing. Card directs you. Trottle Troll. Alright, he's only got one creature in Graveyard right now. Oh, well, they can discard more. If five mana this turn, six mana. Six mana. Don't have two black, though. Can Inescapable Blaze. Uh, can I interrupt this, like, after he's sacrificed, but before he gets a plus one, plus one? Probably, but the issue's gonna be he can discard out of hand to get another plus one, huh? 
All right, let's just kill it before it runs out of control. I have lost games, so that that troll troll's pretty good. All right. Yeah, but he could react in response, right? So if he has one more creature card in hand, he'd save it. That's not good enough. The interrupts instance or interrupts. There's no interrupts as a whole. That card is nothing. The wealth just literally kills it. Maybe he's got the sacrifice card now and he wants to two for one himself against the wealth. Or maybe he just didn't think about the wealth. All right. Great draw. Unlocks our deadly visit. Uh... We're one mana a blue or red off from casting uh, Niz, so that seems good. Let's go ahead and get rid of this card. Uh, that seems like the card that will do it. I don't think I need that though. Okay. So uh, this guy's gonna play the value game with us. He's gonna be severely disappointed by how the value game looks. I hope he does not. It can't be countered though, right? The spell cannot be countered. Feels bad. I'm a tricolor deck playing uh, three blue, three red. I'm gonna play it on, I think this is seven. Yeah, it's five, five flying legendary dragon. When I, when I draw a card, deals one damage to your target. When a player casts an instant or sorcerer spell, I draw a card. So if you're thinking removing that well, there he is, the pink dragon himself. Now he casts the uh, flash spell. Okay, taps it. I still get all the other abilities from it. That's fine by me. Sure. Absolutely okay with that. When I draw a card, it does what now? One damage to any target. Oh, I'd like to ping him in the face, please. Thank you. Okay. Drawing cards. Uh, okay, he may not realize the interaction. So let's um, let's play the dude. It's fine, I think. Let's get the mountain out of our hand. We'll wait till the end of his turn. He may play a creature for us, and then I can nuke it into oblivion when I draw three cards. We'll see. Get him, Niv, get him. This is the first time we've ever played this creature this entire uh, entire uh, cycle here. I'd like to draw a card. Nuke him in the face again. Okay, sure. I'll draw a card for that, thank you. I'll draw another card. Eat it. <laughs> card seems strong. All right. Let's get our dude down. Uh, what's the matter? We have four, five, six, seven, eight on the board. This is six and three is nine, so we need one more card down. It seems fine. Did I count that right? Four? Yeah, I did. Okay. No. Clearly, I leave my fucking blue mana open. All right, play a 5-4 draw flying creature. Oh man, we get to cast our legendary dragon that I've had in all three of my sealed sealed experiences and not played any of them yet. So I'm kind of excited about it for sure. You have returned. All right. Welcome back to Lullaways. 40 months. 